what a blast to drive. She's almost got no brakes at all. I've got to pump it like crazy to stop, but I can feel the power. I'm so excited. So a few months ago, I decided to start working on my 1963 Austin Healey Sprite. The original goal was to try to get her running again and maybe get her back on the road for a little fun. Before long, I found myself modifying the engine and for the first time doing a lot of things I've never done before. Now since uploading the last video, I have changed out a few things and also tuned the car up a little bit. So as you can see here, I added a Carter fuel pump and went ahead and added these air filters on here, which I think helped. Let's go ahead and start it up for the first time in a while and see how she sounds. So one of the main reasons why I have not been able to take this car out on the road is because we had to change out the master cylinder which provides power to both the clutch and the brakes. So after doing that I had to also change out the slave cylinder for the clutch. I did attempt to bleed out both these systems but was kind of unsuccessful and it was getting too hot out and too rainy so I decided to put this off until today. And I got the car jacked up as you guys can see and decided to start with the slave cylinder and see where I could go. Wow guys, what a task it was to try to even slightly bleed this clutch. Now, I'm gonna be honest, about two months ago I was recording, got the clutch and the brakes bled out using uh, this tool down here. It seemed to work okay, but I felt like there was still some air in there, but I was able to take the car around while pumping uh, the clutch, so I knew that something needed to be done. Today I decided I was gonna really fully go at it. Tried to use this just alone in the beginning. I couldn't get anything to come out. So then I, uh, I'm by myself, so I went ahead and wedged a piece of wood, pumped the clutch, pressed it up under there, then built this up to uh, 20, uh, vacuum of 20 HG. It seemed to really pull some fluid out, so I was very excited about that, but it still feels like the clutch could be slightly soft. I'm gonna go ahead and take it down and see if I can pull it around. Um, I'm not gonna go far, I'm just gonna go kind of around this little area here and see how it feels. Now, unfortunately, uh, the fluid seemed to be low from the last time I did it, which I'm very concerned with, even though I saw no leaks under or up top. But if you guys have a better way of bleeding this clutch, if you've ran into this issue, please leave in the comments below the best method that you found for bleeding out the clutch or even just the brake system on this car. But let's go ahead, it sounds like it's running really good. Played around with the uh, carb yesterday and uh, added those new air filters on it and I got excited again about trying to drive this. It is really, really, really humid out and so I've been hesitant to work on the car, do anything. Uh, but today I said, you know what, I'm just gonna do like an hour or so on it, see if I can get the clutch bled, the brakes bled, and maybe take it around the little area and see how it runs because it was sounding so good. Uh, let's go ahead and get set up. I'm going to pull this down and we'll drive it around a little.
what a blast to drive. She's almost got no brakes at all. I've got to pump it like crazy to stop, but I can feel the power. I am so excited. Let me just do a little circle here for you guys and show you. Well guys, definitely very far from being perfect on the tune. You can hear it. She wanted to stall out uh, when I gave her a little gas, but compared to what it was before, it's absolutely amazing. This car is a blast. I mean, you can feel the power that the cam, the performance that I put on there. There's nothing more exciting than to be working on a build, something you've never done before, and be able to take the car out, even just for a second like that, and just hear. How amazing that is. Now, if you guys haven't watched the past videos, let me go ahead and shut her down. So if you guys haven't watched any of the past videos, while I was trying to get this carburetor tuned up, it would always stall as soon as I hit the gas. And uh, I've tried a bunch of different things. So somebody commented on one of the past videos that my firing order seemed like it was wrong because I think I mentioned it was one, two, four, three. But in reality, what I was reading was the clockwise. So, I went back to the car uh, probably a month after that video and decided I was going to attempt to do the 1342 that he mentioned in the comments. Unfortunately, I went clockwise again. So ended up going all around and then I realized that it's a counterclockwise. I did a little more research and it ended up being the same sequence. So I went back to the original and then just really just played around with this carburetor and added the air filters. I think what a lot of it was, was there was no air filters on there. And I didn't think these ones would fit. Now, of course, they're not in there great, but uh, I, they're ones that I had that fit that carburetor. They came with the carburetor and the other filter that had come with it had already deteriorated just from uh, being under this hood and the heat in Florida, I guess. So I'm pretty excited, guys. For those of you who have not been following this, uh, I put together a playlist so you can go back and watch what I've done, uh, some of the performance mods. So one of the main things I did was got rid of the old Holly uh, fuel pump that wasn't really meant for this setup and went with a Carter that was recommended with this Weber carburetor. So I think that made a massive difference. Now I did take off my fuel pressure regulator because they recommended not running one and it seems to be running really good. Now I know it needs some fine tuning. So one thing I really might need to do is change out these jets or if any of you guys know a lot about these Weber carbs, listen to the way the car was driving, saw that it was kind of sputtering out when I went to give it gas in first. Fill me in in the comments what you think might be wrong, what I should attack first. I'm going to tell you right now, all I did was really uh, loosen these screws out quite a bit until I finally got less and less of the uh, stall out. And I might just need to adjust that a little bit more. Not 100% sure, but it is running a lot better than it was. Now I've got a lot of electrical work to do because you guys can see it's running straight to the ignition. I don't even have to turn the key on uh, to get the fuel pump to kick on. So it all needs to change to be safe. And then we need to move on to a lot of other things on this car. Really would love to restore this car, but I said this a billion times, I wanna have a lot of fun with it before I have to break the whole thing down again and wait months and months. So our good, our good weather is coming up here soon in Florida. So I'm really gonna work hard to get this car running good for fall because Florida has amazing weather then. There's no rain 
rain like right now it's heavy rain season and i would love to just enjoy this car out on some open roads once again guys my name's pete this is pete's carport i really hope you enjoyed this car this series that we're doing i'm going to keep continuing to modify this car and this is a car that is going absolutely nowhere so i'll have this car on the channel till the channel ends you guys have an awesome day a blessed week and i'll catch you on the next video Thank you.